We're going to get started on making this piece here. So we're going to go back to our Blender file. We're going to go to Create, and we're going to choose Circle. We're going to change the vertex count to 16 and press Enter. We're going to tab into Edit Mode, do R, X, and then 90, press Enter. And we're going to bring it forward towards the front of this piece. You can also do Period to focus in on this if you want. Just bring it in front of here so that we can work with it a little bit better. We're going to do Control 1 to go to Back View. And we're going to scale this down a bit. You want to try to get a good scale that's going to match this. So we're actually just going to press G. And kind of move it over and kind of see how the scale is going to fit with this piece. That looks okay. I might want to scale it up a little bit more. So I'm going to right click to put this back into the correct position. If you actually moved it and left clicked, you can just do Control Z to bring it back to that position. And if you need to, you can always create a new circle to get it right in this position. And I'm going to scale mine out just a little bit more. And that should be fine. We're going to want to rotate this so we have a flat edge on the top. So to do that, we're just going to do... We're going to rotate it by 360 degrees divided by the number of vertices. So it's 360 divided by 16. And we want to do half of this to get half of a rotation. So we're going to divide by 2. And we want to do 11.25 degrees. So we're going to do R and then 11.25 and press Enter. That's going to make it a perfect rotation. Now what we want is to have those little circular parts that go on the side here. So we're going to create a new circle. So we're actually going to do Tab to go into Object Mode. We're going to create a circle. We're going to change the vertex count to 8. Since this is a smaller circle, we can get away with using a lower vertex count. So we're going to tab into Edit Mode. We're going to do R, X, and then 90. Press Enter. And we're going to bring this forward. We're going to hold Control and snap it to this part. And we're going to S to scale this down. And again, we're going to want to rotate this. We're going to do Control 1 for back view. And we're going to scale this down quite a bit more, actually, first. And this one's 8 vertices, so 360 divided by 8 divided by 2, 22.5. So we're going to do R22.5 and press Enter. Then we're going to bring this up. You're just going to bring it up until it's above this other circle. You want to get the scale correct at this point, so if you want it bigger or smaller, now's the time to do it. I think this is probably going to be okay for me. Then you're going to grab it on the z-axis, hold control, snap it to this point here. Next we want to rotate this so that it's over on, in this direction. So we're going to again do 360 divided by 16 because we're going to be using the 16 vertex circle. And instead of, whoops, we're going to do 360 divided by 16 here. Okay, that's the correct value. And instead of doing one rotation, we actually want to do two rotations. So we want it to be over here. So we're going to multiply this by two which is 45. So we're going to rotate this 45 degrees, but we want to rotate around the center here. So we're going to do Shift S, cursor to center, and change this to the 3D cursor. Then we're going to do R45 and press Enter. So now this is right where we want it to be. But we want four of these, so we're actually going to have to rotate this again. So we're going to do Shift D and then R and 90 this time and press Enter so that these two are in a similar position. Then we're going to do Shift D, R, 90 again and press Enter. And then you can do Shift D, R, 90 one more time and press Enter. We're going to join these two objects together now. So we're going to press Tab to go to Object Mode, hold Shift and right click to select this object. Control J to join them together. Tab into Edit Mode. Then we're going to do A twice to select everything. And actually before we do this, we're going to switch this to individual origins and we're going to alt right click alt and shift right click on all of these then we're going to do e to extrude right click to cancel and then s to scale this down we're just going to scale this down slightly to give it some depth then we're going to press a twice and we're going to do e to extrude right click to cancel and bring this back you can also do a twice and control n to recalculate the normals we're not going to need the faces on the back of these things, so we're going to switch to face select and alt right click, alt and shift right click, delete and choose faces. You can do the same on these bottom ones, do alt right click, 
and Alt and Shift, right click, delete, and choose faces. This back piece, we're actually going to switch to vertex select, Alt, right click. We're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, S to scale this out slightly, maybe a little bit less than that. That's probably going to be okay. Then we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, and bring this back again. And that's probably going to be fine there. Now what we want to do is select all these pieces. So we're going to do Alt right click, Alt and Shift right click. And we're going to do the same here. Make sure you get both of these edge loops and do it on the other, the bottom parts as well. Continue holding Alt and Shift right click and do the same on this other part. Once you have all those, you're going to grab it on the Y axis, hold control, and snap it to this back point there. We actually want these pieces to be a bit further back, so we're going to switch to face select. And we're going to alt right click. And we're going to try to get this right here. Then we're going to do alt and shift right click. Control Z if you need to, if you make a mistake. But just keep doing alt right click and getting these outer faces here. And then we're just going to bring them back a bit. That should be okay right there. We're going to add a couple loop cuts around this one. So we're going to do Control R, left click, and bring this one in pretty close. Then we're going to do Control R, left click, and bring this one in about that far. It should be fine. I'm going to do period to focus in on this. And we're going to grab this edge. So make sure you're in edge select, grab this edge. We're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, bring this down a little but not until this point, so just bring this down a bit. Then we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, and bring this out. We're going to do Control 1. We want this piece to actually be sticking out a bit further than here, so we want to bring this out a little bit further. Just make sure it's sticking out a bit, maybe a little bit more than that. Then we're going to do Shift S, and cursor to selected to put the cursor here. We're going to create a circle, we're going to make it 12 vertices and press enter. We're going to do R, Y, then 90 and press enter. We're going to scale this down a little bit, we're going to do 3 for side view. We want to rotate this again so the flat part's on the top, so we're going to do R, 15 and press enter. And maybe scale it down a little bit more. That's probably a little bit too big, maybe something like that. So a little bit smaller, just enough to fit in between here is probably going to be okay. We're going to switch this to median point. We're going to grab this on the Z axis, hold control and snap it there. I think actually I want to scale this out maybe a little bit more so that it's a bit bigger here. We're going to snap it on the Z axis to this point. So grab it on the Z axis, snap it here. We're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel and scale this out a little bit. I'm going to do control L and I'm going to bring this out a bit. And I'm actually going to snap it on the Y axis to this point and then maybe bring it just a little bit further in that direction. So we still should have this point inside of this circle and this one should be a little bit to the right of this point here. And that should be good. Then we're going to do Shift H to hide everything except for this and we're going to do K for the knife cut tool and we want to left click on this vertex point, C to make it a straight line and then left click on this edge here so it should be green like this, left click and press enter. We're going to go to vertex select, select this vertex, delete and choose vertices. We're going to do alt H to unhide, A to D select. And now we want to select this vertex, shift select this one, alt M at last to merge it at the last point there. We're going to do the same here, so select this one, shift select this one, alt M at last. Then I'm going to take this one and just bring it over slightly to keep a similar width for this part. We're going to go to edge select, select this edge, delete and choose edges. Select the edge again and then delete and choose edges. Go to vertex select, select these two vertices, press F to make a face. Then we're going to select these here and press F to make a face again. We can do control R left click and bring this over. And then select these two points and J to join those together. Then we're going to alt right click on this outer edge. We're going to select these two vertices as well, but we want to deselect these. So make sure you deselect these. So you should have the entire outer ring plus these vertices here and none of the others over here. Then we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel and bring this out. That looks like it should be fine. 
Then we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, S to scale this out a bit. We're going to do Control plus to increase the selection. Then we're going to do Shift H to hide everything else. We're going to do 3 for side view. Again, we kind of want to cut this off. So we're going to do K for the knife cut tool, left click on this vertex, C to make a straight line, left click on this edge, and then press Enter. We're going to delete these three vertices, so select these three, press delete, and choose vertices. Select this one, and we're going to try to keep a similar angle, so just bring it over. And try to keep a similar angle, you can bring it down slightly if you want to. Just try to keep a similar angle there. Then we're going to do Alt-H, we can also do A twice, and Control-N to recalculate the normals. Then we're going to Alt-Right click on this, we're going to make sure that these vertices are also selected, so you want the entire outer ring plus these vertices. Then do E to extrude, right click to cancel, and we're going to bring this out a bit. Now we're going to select these two vertices, we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, bring them up a bit. We're going to do 3 for side view, and the goal here is to try to get a relatively straight line like this. So we're just going to bring them up till we think it's going to be straight. We're going to select these three, press F. If you need to, adjust these again until it's a relatively straight line. Then we're going to take these four, and we're going to press F to make a face there. We're going to Alt right click to get this entire edge loop. We're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, and bring these out some. We're going to stop here for now, so make sure to go to File and Save. Thank you to our awesome Patreon supporters. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter yourself, head on over to patreon.com slash Thank you for your support.